Okay, Pablo, um, very nice to have you here. Um, we uh, wanted to ask you about your approach to the systematic alternatives. You're having a big event on that next week, so maybe you could explain a little bit your approach. Well, uh, it's clear that to address uh, climate change, we not only have to leave fossil fuels under the ground, we don't only need to stop deforestation, we have to change our way of living. The way we produce, the way we consume, uh, the, w the way we manage our waste. So it's, in reality, the, the challenge is what is going to be the kind of vision of, uh, of society that we are going to pursue in order to replace not only capitalism, but also productivism, also anthropocentrism and patriarchy. So we firmly believe that if we are not able to put forward the key elements of this new alternative vision uh, or alternative visions in plural, because there is not only one, there are different, we're not going to be able to really tackle the, the, the roots of climate change. So our main goal is to have an exchange of views of experience from the side of those that promote the growth, those that promote the commons, uh, deglobalization, buen vivir, rights of Mother Earth, ecofeminism, because we think that the answer to that kind of vision is in all these different uh, perspectives. But they have to come together. There has to be complementarity between them. None of them uh, alone has the response to really the, the challenge that we are facing. But we think that together there is a possibility to address this key question that is really uh, behind uh, climate change. Okay, thank you for that. And then I would like to know what is your perspective on where should this now evolving global movement, or it has long existed but not in the shape it is now, um, What should it focus on beyond this COP? Well, I, I think the discussion was very rich, and it was very good. Uh, I must say that I didn't agree with the last part of the discussion. That was to focus on when we are going to have the next meeting. I think that is an issue that it, it will happen. It's not the key. I think uh, one of the proposals that I fully share is we should come out of this 12 days, two weeks of COP21 with a call, with a call to a two-week civil disobedience around the world in relation to climate change. We have to have a response that is not only on speeches, but it's on practice. What is happening here is really a, a criminal act, because governments are going to agree to an increase of the temperature to four degrees Celsius, millions are going to die, and also life, we are not going to see it as we know it now. So what is our response to that? Civil disobedience against fossil fuels, against deforestation, against agrotoxins all over the world, in all regions. I think we really have to, to think on a clear uh, message coming out of these two weeks uh, from the side of social movements.